Take Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPE.com. VIPE is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13. Again, another verse. Breaking tackles, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close at the corner. What takes the Wilson? She fires the three. Oh my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VIPE, VIPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a frantic day of getting set up here at the St. Andrews School as we are just joining you now for the first pitch. Cole Nasconi getting the start on senior day as it is a rainy afternoon here in Austin, Texas. We just were able to start getting set up about 15 minutes ago as that one is in there for strike number two. And the leadoff hitter, Harrison Ratliff, is down 0-2 to start the game. Swing and a miss, strike three. Nasconi gets the strikeout on senior day to get things going. Three pitch strike. Brings up number 21, shortstop Aiden Schmidt. First ball of the day. It's a 1 0 count. We are dealing with some technical issues as well with the rain. It doesn't appear that we're going to be able to have a crowd mic this afternoon. Got some issues with the wires. It appears. As that one misses outside, it's ball two. The 2 1 is ripped to the pitcher's mound. Nasconi there to clean it up. Sends it over to Aiden Madoff at first base today for out number two. Number one, nice play by Nasconi. Retiring his first two batters. Should be a excellent game this afternoon. Two rivals just down the road. Brings up number one, Charlie Evans, the catcher. takes his first pitch for a ball. If you remember this weekend, or this last weekend, I should say, as that one is in there for strike number one. These two teams both played double headers against the same teams. The first game of the day for St. Stephen's was the St. John's Mavericks and the second day for them. Uh, as this one is hit through the infield and collected by Welland at second base. Throw over is in time, so a one, two, three inning for Cole Nasconi. Yes, the flipped, uh, the, these two schools played those t same two Houston schools, just flipping the order in which they played them in that doubleheader, and now they got some action against each other tonight in what is the final home game of the season for the Highlanders. One of the best pitchers in recent memory for St. Andrews, Cole Nasconi on the mound today. Gets through the first inning, one, two, three. He will be batting second in the order. It's Aiden Madoff leading things off. We've got to make sure we got the right players down for St. Stephens. Looks like Ratliff is actually a shortstop. Who's at third base? Number 10, Bo Parham at third base.
I think Schmidt is actually going to end up being a uh, designated hitter. As everything else on the list looks right. Maybe it will be Griffin Ball. We'll see. We'll be able to get a better look at things when we get through the order for the first time. But here pitching today. It's big number 15. We had it would be Max Goldberg, but it looks like they're going to have a different starting pitcher out there. We'll try to get the name on that in just a moment. But the lineup for St. Andrews is going to be Madoff, Nasconi, one and two, then Will in three, Jake Garcia batting fourth, Malcolm Burns at five, Wes Aubin at six, Noah Gorlick seven, Knox Matthews eighth, and rounding out the lineup will be Andrew Higginbotham at nine. So that one skips away. It's been a dreary end of the month here. It's 61 degrees. Much colder April than we've had in a while. And here we go, St. Steve or uh, excuse me, St. Andrews will be getting things going on this rainy Thursday afternoon. 4.40, well, 4.30 was the first pitch time, but it didn't end up being thrown until 4.40, so brings up Aiden Madoff here in the bottom of the first inning, if you're just joining us. First pitch is low to Madoff. The 1 0 to Madoff. That's hit high into the air, but playable should be on the infield, and that is going to be the first out. Max Goldberg on the mound. We, we just have a typo on the lineup card. Brings up Cole Nasconi after Madoff pops out to first base. Pitch from Goldberg. It's in there for strike one. So pitcher on pitcher here in the first inning. It's fouled off. Strike two. So no balls and two strikes to Nasconi. Here's the pitch. As that one skips in the dirt before it got to the plate, so ball one to Cole. Goldberg. Here's the pitch. That one's high, ball two. Two balls, two strikes, the one out. As that goes high, ball three, the count is full. Nasconi, after going down 0-2, takes three straight balls. We've got a meeting at the mound here. Evans goes to talk to Goldberg. Three balls, two strikes. Here's the payoff. That's hit well. Could get down, but no. Ranging over to make that play. J. 
Jess Urban out in right field, getting the put out for out number two. Cole, good contact there on the 3-2 pitch. Brings up Charlie Welland. Saw him make the final play on defense to get out of the first inning. Ground out to him. He's playing second base today. We've seen him all around the diamond this season, including behind the behind home plate. His first pitch swinging. That's well hit into left field. That'll get down. That'll be extra bases for Welland. He rounds one, heads for two. The cutoff throw comes in, and that'll be a two-out stand-up double for Charlie Welland. Aggressive approach at the plate. And the Highlanders have their first base runner with two outs in the first inning. Now for the number nine, Jake Brings up Jake Garcia. Jake once again the catcher today. Going to try and get well and home. Get a one to nothing lead here in the first inning. Goldberg's pitch, that misses outside for ball one. So it looks like the rain will hold off a little bit here as we enter the game. Wasn't any in the forecast until later tonight, I believe, as that finds the zone strike one. Ball and a strike now. Jake takes that one. Good eye, ball two. Jake Garcia comes into a game where he is, or uh, excuse me, here's the 2 1 as that misses low, ball three. Jake Garcia is coming off of a game where he was 0 for 4, but reached base. And three times in that game via catcher's interference and, and two errors. Or no, an error and a fielder's choice. So he's 0 for 4, but made it to the base paths on nearly every time. In fact, the best hit that he had all game was a fly out to right field. But now he's looking at three balls and one strike, going to try and get aboard with two outs. Takes that one outside, ball four. Looked like it was close there, but Garcia gets the call. He's walked. Brings up Malcolm Burns. Big fella. Burns also 0 for 4 in the Tuesday game against the San Antonio Wolverines. He did reach via an error in the seventh inning. Kept that seventh inning rally that came up just short. Kept it going. Now he's looking at no balls and a strike. Two runners on first and second. Throwback to try to get well and is off the bag. So we have time now from the shortstop. Shortstop, Harrison Ratliff calling a meeting at the mound. All good. Burns back to the plate. Burns, lineup says he's out in center field today. For now, he's trying to put his Highlanders on top in the first inning. The 0 1 pitch is high, but swung on and fouled back and out of play into the culvert. As the ball gets away from Goldberg here.
the 0-2 pitch to Burns. Here it is. That one missed outside, ball one. Goldberg was halfway off the mound, halfway back to the dugout there. So it's now a ball and two strikes. Big number 31. Welland on second, taking a big lead. Burns calls for time. Steps back in. Goldberg looking to get out of the two out, two on jam. You won't on this pitch as that's fouled off. You'll stay alive. We'll do it one more time. Goldberg shaking off the signs. Another one, two. That misses ball two. Burns is staying alive. Extending the AB, getting that pitch count up for Goldberg. The 2-2 two -two on the way. That's going to be high, ball three. Not one to swing at there. Burns lays off. Tends to swing at some of those pitches higher in the zone, but that one too high for him to offer at. The count goes full. Wes Aubin is on deck. The 3 2. Everyone goes, and that's going to miss low. Ball four. Bases are loaded here in the first. So now a double and a couple walks loads up the bases. Garcia at second, Welland at third. Burns at first. Wes Aubin comes to the plate with a big opportunity with the bases juiced here in the bottom of the first inning. Another right handed batter for the St. Andrews Highlanders. So here's the first pitch to Aubin. Misses downstairs, ball one. Some good ABs for St. Andrews here in this first inning. Moscone, Garcia, and Burns all with extended ABs. Of course, their only hit from Welland jumped on the first pitch. So a few different approaches here in the first inning from different hitters. There's two outs, and everybody's on. Wes Aubin's looking at two balls, no strikes. Here's the pitch. That's going to miss upstairs as well. So here in the first inning, one pitch away from a walk scoring a run. It's 3-0. Take all the way if you're Aubin. Here's the 3-0. That's high ball four. A run scores in the first inning. Welland comes home here. Garcia to third. Burns to second. And Wes Aubin with the RBI walk. And for the first time in a little bit, Highlanders have a lead. Meeting at the mound as Gorlick comes to the plate with the bases once again loaded. Noah playing third base with Knox Matthews, right fielder, on deck. So we have a discussion at the mound. Manager comes out for St. Stephens, and they all go back to the dugout now, and Gorlick will get his cuts in. That's going to miss inside, ball one. 
as Goldberg is having a hard time locating the zone right now. As this pitch is lifted into right field but playable. And out there for out number three. Jess Urban gets his second put out of the inning. And only one run scores. They strand them loaded on a double and three walks. But the Highlanders plate seven batters and get one run in. We head to the top of the second. It will be Max Goldberg, Griffin Ball, and Bo Parham leading things off. We're going to go ahead and take our first break of the broadcast. You are listening to Highlander Baseball on the Vibe Live Network. We will return in just a moment. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeVYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipe.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. We come back in for another pitcher v. pitcher matchup in the top of the second inning now. Max Goldberg, number 15 at the plate. Nascone on the mound. That's a beautiful pitch in there, strike two. Goldberg down, no balls to two strikes as he fouled off the first pitch. Four hitter after a one, two, three inning for Nascone as this is another pitch fouled off, defensive swing. Nascone lost the first battle as he was at the plate in the first inning, flew out to right field. And now, as the pitcher, he's got an opportunity for another K. Ooh, that one just misses the plate. Well, the plate's a little dirty right now. I'll brush that thing off. But now a ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him. So another strikeout on a leadoff hitter. As Nascone struck out Harrison Ratliff, the leadoff hitter in the first. Now batting, number 13, Griffin Ball. Brings up Griffin Ball. He first baseman. So that's in there for strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. So great inning so far for Nascone, who goes to work quick. That misses outside. It's a small zone today for, for, for both pitchers. So you've seen both of them love some pitches that they don't get calls on, but that one, he does get the call. Froze Griffin Ball for the second strikeout of the inning, third on the day for Cole Nascone. Now batting number 10, Bo Parham. Brings up number 10, Bo Parham. Bo playing third base today for the Spartans. O'Hara on deck. It's in there for strike number one. We saw a similar situation on Saturday. As that one misses way outside, Nascone, that one got away from him the first such of the day. 
but in that first game of the doubleheader against Houston Christian, Nascone only gave up two runs. That one's foul tipped into the glove of Garcia, strike two. Ball two strikes, that misses high. The pitch, swing and a miss, striking out the side, Cole Nascone. His fourth of the day. Another three up, three down inning for the Highlanders. We go to the bottom of the second. Knox Matthews will lead things off for the Highlanders. It'll be eight, nine, one hitters due up as Highlander baseball will continue in a moment. Fight Live, formerly KMAC Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3-13, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to FightBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Knox Matthews leading things off here in the bottom of the second for the Highlanders. This here's the first pitch. Goldberg, that one misses outside. He's been having trouble with the strike zone today. Fortunately for him, after walking Three batters, including one home. Highlanders unable to do any more damage in the first inning. His first pitch chopped to the pitcher's mound. Goldberg with the little toss over to first base. Retires Knox Matthews. Brings up Higginbotham. <laughs> Some great walk-up songs for the Highlander baseball team in this one. Higgy showing bunt but pulls it back. So we've got a rambunctious Highlander dugout this afternoon. One ball and no strikes with one out to the nine hole hitter Andrew Higginbotham. Ooh, got around the bunt there. So a ball and a strike. The one and one. Foul tip, strike two. Top of the order, Aiden Madoff on deck. Popped up to pitcher his first time in the game. The one, two. That's chopped foul down the third baseline. A little late, but the count goes one, two. Or stays at one and two, excuse me. Goldberg. Here's his delivery. That's in there, strike three. Got him looking out number two. Now batting number two, Aiden Madoff. Aiden Madoff. Looking for his first hit of the ball game. 
First time through the order. Highlanders only with one hit. A two-out double by Charlie Welland to get that rally going in the first inning. Came around to score. So good things happen when the Highlanders are getting hits today. Is that misses Matt off, ball one. Nascone, the on-deck man, will certainly be out there for inning number three. He's got a pretty good start going for himself here today. Is that misses ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Goldberg having a hard time locating in this umpire. Not doing him any favors with this zone. As we mentioned, it's very tight today. The 2-0 is lifted into right center field, playable. And there for out number three, Jess Urban. Busy in the right field area today. But after a rocky second, a three up, three down inning for Max Goldberg as we head to the top of the third inning, moving pretty quickly here today. I'd like to thank my QA today, Mr. Josh Cargill. He's sticking with me through this frantic start that we had at the beginning of the broadcast. But we are good to go here. We'd also like to thank the fine folks at Academy Sports and Outdoors for sponsoring us here on the Vipe Live Network. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors it makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. We'll be right back. It'll be 7, 8, and 9 hitters due up for the St. Stephen Spartans. We'll be right back. Hey, buddy. You say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. J.D. O'Hara do up now for the Spartans. Swings on the first pitch. Welland there to make the play. The throw over is in time. So another quick out for Cole Moscone. Brings up Jess Urban. Right fielder, we've called his name quite a bit today. Big fella, number 23, but this is his first time at the plate. First pitch to him, swing and a miss, strike one. The 0 1 misses outside. That skips low in the dirt. Two balls, one strike. Irvin steps in. Nascone delivers. Because that's fouled off, that'll be out of play. But that's strike two. Just one more to work with. It's number 20, Ben Hale on deck. The 
pitch. Ooh, that's inside, ball three. That's a tough one. It's a good eye. Swing and a miss. Got him on the full count. As Nasconi is getting guys out, and he's also working very, very fast. Not a lot of time in between pitches. Oh, excuse me, we got um, number 20, Holt Moriarty actually up. Hale on the bench as a defensive replacement if necessary. Or pinch hitting opportunity. That one misses low. Harrison Ratliff on deck as this is the nine hitter with two outs. One ball to him. Swing and a miss. A ball and a strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. Moriarty, swing and a miss, got him again, strike three. Cole Nascone is dealing tonight. Through the first time in the order, Cole Nascone, six strikeouts, including two that inning, as we now head to the bottom of the third. St. Andrews looking to add to their lead. Nascone will be the leadoff hitter. It's two, three, four for the Highlanders. We'll continue in a moment. Bike Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at BikeBYPE.com. Bike is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, not yet another verse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. What takes the Wilson? She fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to BikeBYPE.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Nascone to the plate. He has been dealing through the first three innings on the mound. We won't um, we won't say how many hits he's given up due to the very superstitious nature of the sport, but I'll give you a hint. It's not very many. So first pitch, he reaches out of the zone for that one. It's fouled off out of play. This game's moving along steadily. That's going to miss outside. Ball to Nisconi. Good eye at the plate. This is his first time up. He flew out to right field after working the count full. And his second opportunity rips it to left field. That's going to be a tough play. That'll get down and fair. Nasconi rounds the bag, heads to second. And he slides in. He's in there. A, a leadoff double. No out double for Nasconi. As he is aboard with the heart of the order coming up. Swelland coming up with the Jay-Z, that NBA 2K13 Intro music. Of course, one of the most iconic soundtracks in, in video game history, NBA 2K13. But you all know that. Welland, one for one with a double. He's on with no outs and a man aboard. Takes the first pitch for a ball. There's a Welland has now two uh, ABs in a row with a hit going back to last game. 
He had an RBI single in the seventh inning. As he takes that pitch out of the zone as well, ball two. Jake Garcia on deck. The 0-2 to Welland. That's going to miss outside, and Goldberg in danger of walking another hitter. He's already got three bases on balls given up today. Here's the 3-0. Welland taking all the way. That's strike one. Welland looking to get aboard for his third straight AB. Misses high, and he does it. Ball four. So there goes the hit streak. But the on-base streak continues. And that's another double followed up by a walk. Now batting number nine, Jake Garcia. Garcia to the plate. Try and at least advance the runners with nobody out. But in that four spot, of course, you're looking for more than a bunt as Garcia misses, or that one misses. Garcia takes it for a ball as the temperature is dropping once again. Low 60s this Thursday afternoon. 61 should start to get warmer again this weekend. After it's been a pretty, pretty chilly April. As Garcia now looking at two balls, no strikes. As Goldberg seems to only struggle in odd innings. Swing and a miss. Strike one to Garcia. Saw what he liked. Two one. Here's the pitch from Goldberg. That's outside, ball three. A 3-1 count for Jake Garcia. As Goldberg is in danger of getting a walk here that would load the bases with nobody out. Malcolm Burns on deck. That's in there, strike two. Garcia once again taking pretty much all the way. The payoff pitch is fouled off. We'll do it one more time. There he goes, Wes Aubin, shagging the ball. Barring a double play, Aubin should uh, have an opportunity to hit here in the bottom of the third. Here's another 3-2. That's outside, ball four. The bases are loaded. Brings up Malcolm Burns. First time up in the first inning, Malcolm reached via a walk. Looking for his first base hit today. That's going to be low. The 1-0 is chopped on the infield. The throw home is in time, but that's the only place for it. So a fielder's choice for Burns. Everyone moves over except for Nascone, who is out at the plate. Now batting number 11, Wes Aubin. Brings up Wes Aubin. Wes walked his first time up and got that one RBI. It was a bases loaded walk. He'll try to do it again. He's a quarter of the way there. That's ball one. Now 
The 1-0 from Goldberg. That's chopped Fallon into the St. Stephen's dugout off the net. So now after taking that first pitch for a ball, Aubin is now up to 1-1. One and one. Just avoid the double play. So here's the pitch. That misses. Two balls and a strike to Aubin. Gorlick on deck. Two balls and a strike. That's lifted through the infield. That will get down. That's a base hit. One run scores. They're waving around Garcia. The throw home will not be in time. Two run score. The run gets away into the backstop. Burns to third. And Aubin to second. So a two RBI single that's stretched into a second based on the throw or on the on the ball getting away from the catcher for Wes Aubin. Welland and Garcia come around to score. Burns to third, Aubin to second. Still one out. Score now three to nothing. Gorlick with a great opportunity once again to extend the lead. Already two runs score in the inning. First pitch to him. He's going to take that for ball one. So we I joked a little bit about Goldberg only struggling in odd innings after that leadoff doubled in Esconi, but seven batters in the first inning. Because that one's fouled off. Seven batters in the first, only three, a three up, three down inning in the second. And now with one out here in the third, Gorlick is the sixth hitter to head to the plate. Still only one out. That one, Gorlick saw, and that's going to fall in to center field. One run will come around to score. And an RBI single for Noah Gorlick. That was a breaking ball that just sort of hung up right in a place where Gorlick could hit it. He was sitting on that. Burns scores. Aubin now to third. So we got runners at the corners with one out, four to nothing. Low. That misses. Here's the pitch. That's hit high in the air to right field. Should score a run. And there's the put out in the right field. No throw home. And Aubin. Another run scores here in the inning for the Highlanders. Now batting number 14. Yeah. Okay, now it's four to nothing. The scoreboard was wrong for a little bit, got confused. It said four to nothing. And then um, it was before the Aubin play. So Aubin comes home there on the sacrifice fly from Matthews. It's two outs. As the bunt gets down, Higginbottom, that's just a little bit too far out to the pitcher. And that'll end the inning, but not before the Highlanders put up three more runs. We head now to the top of the fourth inning. It'll be the top of the order due for the St. Stephen Spartans. We'll be right back. 
Fight Live, formerly KMAC Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 for team. Again, another reverse. Breaking tackles. Dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson. She fires the three. Oh, my God. It went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to FightBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Harrison Ratliff takes the first pitch for ball one after a very productive bottom of the third for the St. Andrews Highlanders. It's outside ball two, Nasconi. Down 2-0 for the first time. It feels like he's been coasting all game. That misses ball three. So in that bottom of the third, Highlanders score four runs on three hits and a couple walks. As Nasconi walks the leadoff man, Harrison Ratliff, on four pitches. It's the first base runner of the game for the St. Stephen's Spartans. Brings up Caden Schmidt. Throw over, not in time. It's another ball. So five straight to start the inning. One ball, no strikes. Scone, you got to settle down here. That'll feel good. Strike one. It's a swinging strike from Caden Schmidt. As the Spartans lead 5 nothing here in the fourth. That misses for ball two. Sconey, the leadoff double, got things going. He was a victim of a fielder's choice out at home plate. Sats in there for a strike to throw over, not in time. Heads up play by Jake Garcia. But that is strike two, two balls, two strikes. The Sconey looking for strike out number seven already in the game. Evans on deck. Here's the 2-2. That misses for ball three. Count goes full. The 3-2. Misses ball four, for so two straight walks for Nasconi to start the inning. Now batting number one, Charlie Evans. Brings up Charlie Evans. Grounded out to 
First base his first time up in the first inning. Or excuse me, to second base in the first inning. First pitch fouled off. It'll be high out of play. Two on with nobody out. And Evans is down 0-2. The throw over is, ooh, barely missed him that time. It was a great move from Garcia once again. Charlie Evans now down in the count 0-2. The throw over is again safe, and that one missed for a ball. Looked like it could have been strike three, and it looked like he could have been out. So worst-case scenario there for St. Andrews. Another one-two. That one's fouled off. Max Goldberg, the pitcher, is on deck. They are trying to gun down Schmidt there on the base paths. Ratliff at second. Schmidt at first. Both drew walks here with no outs in the top of the fourth. The one, two. That's hit into the air. It's going to be a tough play, and that'll drop in between three Highlanders. The throw gets away and into the dugout, so that should be one extra base for everybody. And finally, the Spartans on the board. So a single for Evans, and just the bloopiest of bloop singles for the first hit of the game for the Spartans. And then everybody advances on the ball, escaping into the dugout. So now runners at second and third with nobody out. And one run has come home. Brings up Max Goldberg. He struck out his first time up. That misses for ball one. The one is in there for strike one. That one's hit well, high into the air, should score a run. Burns over there to get the put out. And the throw home is a gorgeous throw. It holds everybody back. Malcolm Burns with the cannon from center field. Now batting number 13. Brings up Griffin Ball. Also struck out his first time up, but now here with an opportunity to bring some guys in. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss for strike two. Two pitches, two swinging strikes for Griffin Ball. Bo Parham on deck. Moscone steps back to the rubber. The 0-2 pitch. Got him for strike three. His seventh strikeout for Nasconi here. It's 
So after letting the first three batters reach, that's two straight out. As this one gets to the backstop, it's going to be a tough play. Garcia can't handle the ball. So Schmidt comes home to score. Evans goes up to third. It's now a ball and no strikes to Parham. After the run scores, it's 5-2. Swing and a miss. <laughs> one ball, one strike. Now one ball, two strikes. Parham over one today with a swinging strikeout. And now he's down in the count. One and two. Nascone going to try and get him for a second straight time. And he does. So in the top of the fourth, two runs score on a couple of walks and a base hit. They strand Evans on third base. Nascone picks up two more strikeouts now, eight on the day. As we head now to the bottom of the fourth inning. St. Andrews coming off their hottest hitting, uh, hottest hitting inning of the game. Three hits in the bottom of the third, along with a couple walks. They scored four runs. They look to add to the total here after giving up two of uh, their own in that top of the fourth. It'll be Max Goldberg out there for another inning of work. And if it's anything that we've seen throughout the game, this should be a quick inning. As Goldberg has had his best inning in the second and struggled in the first and third, so now that we're in the fourth, we shall see. This is the final home game of the season for St. Andrews. This is senior senior night. It's kind of an in-betweener, kind of in between the afternoon and the evening. But it'll be Aiden Madoff to lead things now off. He is 0 for 2 on the day with a pop out and a fly out. Last time he was up was in the second inning. He flew out to right field to end the inning. He swings at the first pitch. And that'll be a good play made out in left field. It's Ben Hale, the designated fielder today for St. Andrews. And a first pitch swinging for Madoff is an out. Now batting number 16, Cole Nascone. Brings up Cole Nascone, who is one for two. Got that inning going in the third. He's got a fly out and a double, so he's hitting the ball well today as he fouls this one back. So no balls in a strike, well and on deck. Sconey calls time. Lefty steps back to the plate. Goldberg. Here's the 0-1. And that's a line out to third base. Hit well, but right to Bo Parham. That's out number two. Brings up Welland. How about that? Welland walked his last time up. He's one for one with a walk and a double in the first inning. He takes the first pitch way inside. Has to spin off of it. So 
swing and a miss. Well, and takes that pitch for a ball. It's ball two. So that one's hit high into the air, but playable. But that'll get over the head of the St. Stephen shortstop and drop in for a base hit. Jake Garcia now to the plate. Jake has reached both times. He has been at the plate with a pair of walks. We'll take a pretty mean hit to bring home Wellen from first base here. Takes that one. That's ball one. So Welland keeps that on-base streak alive. Four straight plate appearances reaching safely for him. As he goes now, the throw down will be over the head of the second baseman. Welland thought about third, will stay at second, so that is a successful stolen base for Charlie Welland. Now anything into the outfield could get Garcia home as he took that one for a strike. So a ball and a strike to Jake. Number nine playing catcher today. I've seen him behind the plate quite a bit. And this Goldberg trying to put up his second clean inning of the of the ball game as the throw back to second base is not in time. The tag was not there. The throw was in time, but the tag wasn't. Is now a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. That misses outside, ball two. Here's the pitch, that misses high. Three balls and a strike. Malcolm Burns, the on-deck hitter. <laughs> Swing and a miss, strike two. Timeout. Catcher goes up to the mound. Talk it over. Quick chat. Is the count now full to Garcia? Looking to keep this two out rally going. Goldberg looking to avoid it. Here's the 3 2. Garcia stays alive. That's fouled off. <laughs> Looks back at Welland. Here's the delivery. 
Misses outside. That's another walk. Third straight walk for Jake Garcia. Brings up Burns. Last time up, he grounded into a fielder's choice and eventually came around to score. He also walked in the first inning as he swings and misses the first pitch here. Goldberg. This one's hit well into the outfield, but coming over to make the play is Ben Hale in center field or in uh, left field. So a two out walk and a hit aren't enough for the Highlanders as they come up empty here in the bottom of the fourth inning. They strand Welland and Garcia. We now head to the fifth inning. It will be seven, eight, nine hitters due up for St. Stephen's. Going to head to a quick break right here, but first, want to thank our sponsors on the broadcast, Academy Sports and Outdoors. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Bike Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at BikeBYPE.com. Bike is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to BikeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Back in here for the bottom of the, uh, the top of the fifth, excuse me. It's number 18, J.D. O'Hara. Fouled off the first pitch. Now, he's down 0-2 after taking that one for a strike. Nisconi back out there. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Got him on three pitches. Reached up for that one. That's another strikeout for Cole. Well on his way to double-figure strikeouts. It's already nine for Cole. Brings up Jess Urban. Swings through the first one. That's strike one. Calls for time. At strike two. That misses inside. And there went the immaculate inning. 
well over halfway. Zat's in there. Strike three. He got him looking. Caught the lower inside part of the plate. And Urban goes down on strikes for his second time today. Brings up Holt Moriarty. Also struck out his first time up. Oh, no. Looks like Ben Hale is number 20. So Ben Hale is up. After striking out his first time up. Had some some issues with the numbers on the St. Stephen side of things. Is that strike two? Rather now that's that strike two, excuse me. Now the count goes one two. It was now it was one and one, now it's a ball and a strike. Or ball and two strikes, excuse me. I'm having a hard time here. Catching my breath, had to run and fix something here in between innings. And I don't I, I don't have a lot of air to spare. I need it to power my baseball brain as the count's now 2-2. Two -two. The pitch. That one's lifted into left field. And that'll get down into the corner. So that's a two-out double from Ben Hale at the bottom of the order. Just got a hold of that one. Lifted it high and long. Got into the left field corner. Brings up the top of the order, Harrison Ratliff. This is his third time at the plate. Last time up in the fourth inning, he walked. Was the leadoff man. In the first inning, he struck out. But now with two outs and one man on, the, the, the order is turned over, and the Harrison Ratliff has a, an opportunity to bring home another run. Low, ball two. Two zero. -oh. In there for strike one. Nisconi with the heater. So two balls and a strike to Harrison Ratliff. Got him swinging there, strike two. Count is evened up. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. One man on. That's second base. 5-2 the score in the top of the fifth inning. Swing and a miss. Got him again. Eleven strikeouts on the day for Cole Moscone. As the Spartans strand one at second base in the top of the fifth, we head now bottom five. And St. Andrews will have Wes Aubin up. It'll be six, seven, eight hitters due for the St. Andrews team. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Five Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts. But did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals. Academic events. For more information on how Vipe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you Vipe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, VYPE.com. VYPE.com. Aubin takes the first pitch for ball one. West comes to the plate here in the fifth inning. This is his third A.B. of the afternoon. 
He's two for two. Well, he's one for one with a walk and a base hit. And last time up in the third, he singled and came around to score. He swings through that one. That's a ball and a strike to the shortstop. Goldberg out there again, his fifth inning. It's an odd-numbered inning, so Highlander is looking to put some more runs on the board. So this one's fouled off. Aubin wants that one back. You can see it in his face. Doesn't feel great about that pitch. Now Goldberg back to the mound. Looking to hold the lead where it is. I'm trying to give up any more runs. So it's still very much a ball game. Only three run deficit. As that one misses high. Now 2-2 two -two to Aubin. The 2-2 two -two to Aubin is low in the dirt. Two two. That's hit on the infield. Playable. And that's out number one. A ground out to second base for Wes Aubin. Brings up Noah Gorlick. He's one for two. His last at bat in the third inning. He singled. I believe he also has an RBI. I think he brought home Aubin in the third. It's in there for strike one. That's a swing and a miss on strike two. Gorlick reaching out of the zone. Only one strikeout on the day so far for Goldberg. But he's got Gorlick down 0-2 here with one out in the fifth. Good eye for Gorlick. Tough to lay off on those. Goldberg delivers the one-two. It's a swing and a miss. Strike three. And getting the tag down is Charlie Evans. So Gorlick goes down for the second strikeout of the ball game for Max Goldberg. And two up, two down here in the bottom of the fifth. Brings up Knox Matthews. He's over two in the ball game. Flew out to right field his last time up. Andrew Higginbottom on deck. Pitch from Goldberg is foul tipped into the glove of the catcher, Evans. Now no balls in a strike to the eight hitter. Knox playing out in right field today. The 0-1 to him is chopped on the infield. The throw over from shortstop is in time. Harrison Ratliff making the play for the final out of the inning. And for the first time in an odd number inning, it goes 1-2-3 for the Highlanders. So now we head to the sixth. Sixth, just six more outs for St. Stephen's. And they will have the heart of the order due up now. It's a good opportunity for them to make some noise. It should be Caden Schmidt to 
three and four hitters due up for the Spartans as we head to the top of the sixth. Cole Nascone back out there for his sixth inning of work, and we will be right back here. You are listening to Highlander Baseball on Vibe Live. Touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Top of the sixth now, strike one. Two two hitter Caden Schmidt. Ball in a strike now to Schmidt. So he takes that one for strike two. Now a ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. That one's hit weakly. Going to be a tough play for Nascone. Bare hands. Throws to first. Not in time as that gets away from Madoff. But well backed up. And the Spartans have a leadoff man aboard. On some weak, weak contact on a 1-2 pitch. A frustrating turn of events for Cole Nascone. It's a lot of these hits. in the game for St. Stephens have just been able to get in. Ben Hale, uh, an exception to that is he got a pretty good hold of a pitch from Nisconi, but It's only the third hit of the ball game. He traveled about five feet. That's ball one to Evans. Evans broke up the no-hitter with a single in the fourth inning. Throw over, not in time. Nascone trying not to give up any of those insurance runs he's working with. Is that misses? No, that's going to find the zone. Caught the inside corner of the plate. So Evans turned away from it. Had me fooled. Didn't have the umpire fooled. Taking. That misses. Good move from Garcia, but can't get him. And we're going to get him eventually. Because Garcia's made some excellent throws over from behind the plate today. These runners on first base keep falling asleep. It's the throw over. Is a rope through the infield and off the umpire. And that would have been a double play ball. I think that'll go as a base hit. I think that's the rule. That's a tough break. Two two tough breaks in a row for Nascone. Some weak contact to get the one man on, and then a double play ball taken away by an umpire in the worst place possible on the field. So Evans reaches. Brings up Goldberg. Goldberg chops this one on the infield. And that's going to get under Aubin's glove, and they're going to wave around the runner. So just a, a wonky inning so far. You can see the frustration in the Sconey's face. Now 
as Goldberg reaches on an E6. Griffin Ball to the plate now. Griffin Ball over two with a pair of strikeouts today. Still nobody out. One run has scored here in the top of the sixth. That's high. Ball two. Misses outside, ball three. Moscone trying not to work the bases loaded. Three balls, no strikes to Griffin Ball, who's 0 for 2 today with a pair of strikeouts. That misses. Bases are loaded. As we'll have a meeting at the mound as a string of bad luck has taken over the Highlanders here in the sixth inning. Goldberg at second, ball at first. Evans who hit the umpire at third. So you go from what should have been nobody out, or two on with nobody out, turns into a run scored and bases loaded with nobody out. Nasconi has only given up three definite hits, and then whatever they score, the one to Evans. Swing and a miss, strike one to Bo Parham. And only in high school do you even have an umpire standing in the middle of the infield like that. Strike two. Don't have an umpire standing behind the pitcher's mound between pitching, pitcher's mound to second base. As that's three pitch strikeout for Nasconi, as that's exactly what he needed. And it brings up J.D. O'Hara, who's already gone down on strikes once, as that's the third strikeout of the day for Bo Parham. And Jess Urban is on deck, who's already struck out twice. As that's hit weakly on the infield, Nasconi. Only plays at first, one run scores. That's a fielder's choice, but an RBI. But O'Hara's out there at first. Or no, excuse me, that's just a that's just an RBI ground out. <laughs> Got confused about the base pads there. And that moves ball to second, Goldberg to third. Evans comes home. A swing and a miss for Urban. It's just a one-run game now here in the sixth. That's strike two. The 0-2. Ooh, that just misses. Nasconi walks and off, walking off the mound. trying to manufacture his second golden sombrero of the evening. One, two, misses low, ball two. A hit into the outfield scores two. But that's fouled off. So we shall stay alive. Nisconi going to have to give him one more. Urban has been busy out there in right field today. The 2-2. Two -two. 
Misses outside for ball three. Hale on deck. Here's the 3-2. Swing and a miss. Got him. Cole Nascone gets out of the inning with the lead. It's 5-4 as we head to the bottom of the sixth. Two runs score from the Spartans on one hit. A weird thing where the guy hit the ump. <laughs> and then an error and a walk. And two runs come to score, but two more strikeouts for Nascone. He's up to 13 on the day. He's a uh, multiple strikeouts in every inning today. Struck out the side twice. But we have a new pitcher. It's Bo Parham. And they move Goldberg over to first base. Looks like that's Griffin Ball now moving from first to third. So we got all the defensive substitutions down. Looks like we will have a pinch hitter here at the bottom of the sixth. It'll be 9-1-2 due up for the Spartans. Looks like it's going to be Mark Greenberg getting the pinch hit opportunity. Going to try and give a, uh, some more insurance runs to whoever is going to take the top of the seventh for the Spartan or for, for, the, for the Highlanders. But it'll be Greenberg and then Madoff and Nascone to try and get a couple more runs on the board before the final inning. Mark Greenberg to the plate now. So in the sixth inning, Highlanders make a lineup change. Now batting number seven, Mark Green. So Mark Greenberg Getting his first cuts in. Swings on the first pitch. Lofts it high into the air. That's drifting out of play, and it will land foul. So strike one to Mark. Assume he will replace Andrew Higginbottom in left field. We'll have to check on that when we get there. The 0-1. Misses outside. That's ball one. Parham on the mound for his first inning. Makes Mac Max Goldberg's day is done from pitcher's mound as Greenberg hits this one well to center field but playable. And the put out for out number one, Ben Hale is there to make the play. So Greenberg flies out for out number one, brings up Aiden Madoff. Madoff is 0 for 3 on the day. He flew out or lined out to left field his first or his last time up in the fourth inning as that one's in there for strike one. Aiden still looking for his first hit of the ball game. First baseman made some good plays today. That misses for ball one. Nasconi on deck. Wellen now in the hole. The 1-1 one, one to Madoff. Misses high. <laughs> 
the 2-1. Well, was ball three, but he fouls that off. In the seventh inning for the Spartans, it'll be the ninth hitter, and then top of the order will turn back over, so 9-1-2 for them. Top of the order is back up for the Highlanders here in the sixth. Of course, they do have a bottom of the seventh to work with if need be. But for now, they are still looking just to add to this total for the sake of the defense. Two balls, two strikes, one out here in the bottom of the sixth for Madoff. He calls time. The pitch is swung on and missed. Got away from the catcher, but the throw over is in time for out number two. So that's the first strikeout of the game for Bo Parham. He's retired the first two batters he's faced. Brings up Nascone. His last time up, he lined out to third base. He's one for three on the day. Looking to get a rally going with two outs and Welland on deck. He swings on the first pitch and lifts it high and out of play. Strike one. Swing and a miss for strike two. Nisconi reaches for that one. Parham pretty good in his relief appearance so far. The 0-2 to Nisconi steps off. Here's the pitch. That's chopped on the infield. It's going to be a tough play. Fielded the throw over is not going to be in time, so Nisconi reaches with an infield single with two outs in the bottom of the sixth inning. Brings up a man they want, Charlie Welland. He's two for two today. He's reached base all three times he has been to the plate. He's got a single, a double, and a walk. Now batting number 22, Charlie Welland. Charlie Welland has reached base safely in four straight at-bats. As we're going to have a pinch runner now for Nascone. He sh this, uh, this could mean his day is done, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. You got the free pinch runner for pitchers and catchers at, at, the, at this level. It's Tommy Bullion now on the plate, or on first base. The pinch running opportunity off the bench. Welland taking his cuts. And he's ready to go here. First pitch to Welland. Is in there, strike one. Checked the swing there, didn't like what he was seeing. But now he's seen one. Grip it and rip it. Bo Parham on the mound here in the bottom of the sixth. Here's his 0-1. That's ripped to third base. It'll be a tough play, a high bounce. Throw over, though, is in time. Highlanders unable to add to that total as well and grounds out to third to end the inning. They strand one runner on a single. And nothing else there. We head to the bottom, or the top of the seventh, excuse me. It'll be 9-1-2, the final three outs, and it is Cole Nascone out there for one final inning. Top of the seventh at St. Andrews. We are in for an exciting finish. Ben Hale will lead off for St. Stephen's. Cole Nascone looking to get the win and 
Well, in, in this case, he's got a save opportunity in front of him. We'll see what he can do with the 9-1 and 2 hitters for the St. Stephen Spartans in the top of the seventh inning when St. Andrews Highlander baseball continues in just a moment. Bike Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at BikeBYPE.com. Bike is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to BikeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Ben Hale up here in the final inning of the game. It's the top of the seventh. Cole Nascone back out there as the count goes one and one with that pitch being in there for strike one. Harrison Ratliff, the on-deck man. Ben Hale, the hardest hit ball of the game so far for St. Stephens as he takes that one for ball two. The only extra base hit in the game so far. He's one for two with a strikeout. Strikeout in that double. Now he's in the count 2-2. Two, two. Moscone looking for another strikeout. Already 13 Ks for Cole. Missed in ball four is the tying run now on the base paths at first base brings up Harrison Ratliff, who is 0 for 2 today. Struck out in the first, walked in the fourth, and struck out again in the fifth. Brings him up here in the seventh with one on and nobody out. That's downstairs. The 1-0. Throw over, not in time. Finds the zone. Ball in a strike to Ratliff. The go-ahead runner now at the plate. Caden Schmidt on deck. Nascone's got to deal with one, two, three now. That's now two strikes to Ratliff. Here's the one, two from Nascone. That's hit high into the air. Burns moving over underneath it and is there for the first out of the seventh inning. Runner scurries back to first base. As Burns has done a pretty good job out there in center field today. So that brings up Caden Schmidt, one out, one on. His first pitch swung on, fouled way back. That could have hit a car. I haven't had one of those very often this season. Now no balls, one strike. Nascone looking to clutch up and get out of this thing. Here's the 0-1. Schmidt takes it. Now a ball into strike. Double play ball still in order. With the left-handed batter, that umpire is still in that unfortunate spot. This one's lifted in the air. It's going to be a tough play. Could fall in as that falls fair. 
another weak, weird contact situation that falls in for a hit, and Nasconi is just, he's had terrible luck all game. Can't catch a break. Brings up number one, Charlie Evans. Charlie Evans, the last time he was up, he hit the umpire. Takes the first pitch high. Double play in order. This one's hit high into the air. That's drifting over to foul territory. Going to be a tough play and an out right there on the line. As Knox Matthews is able to get over there and make the play, but runner does tag up. So Ben Hale has scooched on down to third base. Caden Schmidt stuck at first. But now the sacrifice play is out of order as there are two outs. Brings up Max Goldberg. He's 0 for 3 today, reached in the sixth inning via an error. He struck out and flew out in his other two ABs. As this one's lifted high on the infield. Madoff makes the final out of the ball game. Cole Nascone gets the save opportunity and the win. It was scary there towards the end. But Nascone gets out of it. And we have a final score here at St. Andrews. It's 5-4. to four. Great win for this team on senior night. We'd like to thank all of you for tuning in to the broadcast. Highlanders get the victory at home. Score 5-4. I have been Jack Farrell. It's been a pleasure bringing you the broadcast today. We've had a pretty fun season doing all sorts of broadcasts on the diamond at St. Andrews, JV, varsity, some softball. But that'll end things here. I'd like to thank Josh Cargill, my QA, for dealing with a frantic time trying to get on air. And thanks to the rain for staying out of the game. We're going to go ahead and sign off the broadcast here. We'd like to thank you all once again for tuning in. We'd like to thank the people at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Just want to let everybody know you can get free shipping on your favorite brands at Academy or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. I've been Jack Farrell. Hope you all have a great night and a great rest of your weekend. This has been St. Andrews Highlander Baseball on the Vibe Live Network, and we are clear.